Hi folks and welcome to a tutorial on how to click on an area or an object on your image in Pictures to Execute and have text pop up. The question was raised on the forum recently and I thought a tutorial on how to use a rather obscure feature of Pictures to Execute called Windows might be in order. Of course there are more than one way to do this. One way of course would be to create multiple copies of your image and on each of those copies put the text where you wanted it but that's rather inefficient of course the other way is to use this rather obscure feature of pictures to execute which was probably designed to uh, facilitate help menus but is I think underused and works out quite well for doing what we want to do here the first thing that we have to remember is whenever we uh, want something to happen on a mouse click we need an object or an area on the screen with a hidden object in order to facilitate that so in order to do this I've created little frames which are invisible rectangles uh, one of pictures to execute nicer features and I've called the little girl and place it over her face and man and place it over his face just as a reminder you can size these um, simply by uh, moving the, the frame in and out um, on the up and down or, or the corner or side um, uh, handles but you can also hold the shift key down and you can distort the shape of the frame to make it fit better uh, once we have that done we have the uh, the two features if we if we go to the um, common tab in objects and animations and we see show window uh, there's nothing there. Uh, we could uh, we can run slideshows, do all these other things, but when we when we go to the show window, it, it's a little confusing at first because there isn't anything there. Well, that's because we don't have a window yet, and we need to create it. So the first thing let's do before we go that route is let's click on the name of the slide and go to customize slide and put some time in there. Your audience is going to want to uh, to look at this and click around a few times and the five second default's not long enough we don't want to have things go away before they get started so I'll put three, 300 seconds which is five minutes on the next thing let's do is let's copy the slide itself because once we get over to the window we need to have something to put in there so we'll know where the text is going to go well to get there we need to close out objects and animations and then go to the project selection and click on that and then click on the choice customize windows and once we have that we see that there aren't any windows to customize so let's add two windows one for each of those uh, little uh, frames and there we have it and we assign the first one to the little girl so let's edit that window and as you can see we have nothing so let's go down to the lower right quadrant here and right click and paste the image so we can see what we're doing now deselect this that's it really important and then let's add text and if we go back up here to properties tab we can modify that text word text and let's put her name in which happens to be Angelina Jolie and this picture was made in 1986 so now we can size and position this according to the image that it's going to appear on let's put it down here and make it just a little larger and we can also make it sharper smoother um, we could adjust the line spacing we could do drop shadows and all those things we could put a rectangle behind it but for the purpose of this explanation let's just leave it as is now we're finished with this one so let's drop out or delete the, the image from it leaving only the text but the text will show up where we want it so let's close this and go to window 2 and let's edit this window and so let's put the picture back in by pasting and deselect that and add text and then let's in the properties tab let's uh, highlight the text and put the man's name
John Voigt, the father of Angelina, we can do the same thing. We can we can uh, size it and position it where we can see it easily against the background. And we can perhaps sharpen the text a bit. There we are. Make it bold or, or, or um, put a frame behind it or whatever we want to do just as we would with a regular image. Now let's drop that out because we don't need the image. We just need the text. Close out and go back to our objects and animation screen. And now what we want to do is we want to assign uh, the windows to these um, features. So we go back to the common tab and I happen to have it on show windows. If we click on the little screen here, look, we have now two windows. So window one for the little girl and show windows. Window two for the man. Now let's test this and see how it works. We go to the preview. We can click on, uh, let's see, Angelina's face, and it shows Angelina. Click a second time, and it goes away. Click on her father's face. The second time, everything works fine. So this shows you how to go about using pictures to execute and the feature windows to pop up text. Uh, a useful feature, I think, and it's nice of the developers to give us that opportunity.